Welcome back to Just Books and in our ongoing series, What's on My Bookshelf, novelist Geeta Hariharan this week talks about some of her favorite books. I'm a writer. I've been a writer for uh, about 25 years. But um, the more important thing is to be a reader, I think. Uh, no writer can write without being a reader in the first place. And of course, I've been um, uh, an ardent reader for much longer than I've been a writer. I thought I'd begin uh, talking about the kind of books I read, my reading habits, with a book which actually talks about what it calls the small daily miracle, the reading act. Um, and this is by a wonderful anthologist called Alberto Mangel. I'd like to show you the book. It's called uh, A History of Reading. Uh, it's one of those delicious books that anyone interested in reading or writing should possess. Well, uh, a lot of my books are sort of arranged. Um, I have books on music there and uh, plays there, all of Shakespeare, um, an important part of my growing up years. Um, a lot of this is fiction. And of course, for a writer, um, fiction is not only a great source of joy and pleasure, but it's also checking out what your colleagues in different parts of the world at different points in time have written, sometimes you know, you, you check a book to find out how a, a particular technical point is handled by a, a certain writer you admire. Uh, so these are colleagues and gurus and gurunis um, sitting on these bookshelves. I also uh, keep a lot of uh, books uh, pending uh, of different genres, um, uh, fiction, non-fiction and so on. And this is the most uh, recent pile I have. Um, I have to say that um, I don't really uh, read books uh, as soon as they are published. It takes me quite a while to get to them. Uh, I might acquire the books or I might be sent the books, uh, but I let them sit on the uh, bookshelves for a while and let them sort of age like good wine and you know wait till there's all the, the sort of noise and uh, so forth is over because I find it hard to read something with everybody sort of shouting into my ear, read this, and it's the best thing um, invented kind of thing. Uh, the pile I have now, um, uh, not all of them new books actually, um, there's a collection of poems by the American poet and short story writer Grace Bailey who died um, uh, last year and um, uh, that uh, moved me to go and look for one of her books and, and, and try and recall uh, the very, very important things she had to say um, uh, to women, um, to fellow writers and indeed to, to citizens in different parts of the world. Um, there is also um, a book which I finished reading last month. Um, I found uh, Basharat Peer's uh, voice uh, remarkably um, fresh, sharp, um, and I think, um, you know, he is a, a, a non-fiction writer to watch out for. Um, I'm a great um, a fan of uh, Oliver Sacks. I discovered him with that uh, uh, wonderful collection of essays, The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat. Um, and uh, he has been a great um, a middleman between uh, uh, the Lay Reader and the Mysteries of the Human Brain and his most recent book, Music Ophelia, is about this terribly important aspect of our lives, music. And of course, anyone uh, interested in literature will also want to know about the links between literature and music. So this is something I did read uh, recently and enjoyed very much. Tuba.com 